What's going on guys, Rafi Red here. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're doing another home and outdoor DIY improvement. This time around, we're gonna be installing the new Ratio 3 Smart Sprinkler Controller. And I'm just gonna be adding in the outdoor enclosure. So if you uh, like this content, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe and also share to whoever might need it. And uh, with that said, Let's get started. We're gonna see what's actually inside the box. Gotta give you a step-by-step -step process how to install it, how to pair it. It has Amazon Alexa and HomeKit compatible. So we're gonna be working through all that, setting up the app, and then go from there. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so let's open up this one first. This is gonna be the Ratio 3 Smart Sprinkler Controller System. Like I said, this is gonna be an eight zone, and we're gonna open it up, see what's inside. We find a uh, knife that I can use to open it. Uh, and as I mentioned before as well, it's Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant. It works with uh, If This Then That. It works with uh, Smart Things and also Apple HomeKit compatible. So let's get this one open. And as we open it, we get to see here the <coughs> sprinkler system. All right. It has in the front here one through eight zones. You have a play button, a back, a forward, and a stop. It's not for music, <laughs> it's mainly for the actual uh, water. So nice, that's like a clickable. That's a cover. And in here we have all the different plugs right here from common to different cables, one through eight, C, S1, S2, 24 volt, and then power all the way over here. Put this back right here. We also have the Smart Sprinkler Controller Guide. Let you know how to install it. Out with the all, in with the new. Give you all the instructions on mounting template. Yep. And how to pair it. Right here to the side. Limited warranty. Okay. And let's see what else we have in the box. We have the power adapter, which is heavy. It's really heavy. White cable sounds good. We got some screws. And that's it. That's pretty much what we got here inside in this box. Move to here to the side. So we got the controller, some screws, and the power. Now what we're gonna do is open up the uh, outdoor enclosure. This is gonna house the power and also the uh, system right here controls this because if you're outdoors and it's raining and all that, this is not waterproof. So you gotta have a way to protect it from the elements. So let's open this one up. Okay, I think we're just gonna drag it out. Let's see. All right. So we have the enclosure. It's a gray. Opens this way. Nice. And we got definitely screws. Expansions, nice. And some instruction on how to kind of wire it and how to set up the cables. And then at the top right here, this is where we're gonna plug in our power adapter right here. And then from the bottom, there's gonna be the cables that's gonna come in. So we're gonna take a look at that, see how that works. We're gonna find out how to cover these right here. Because I know one's gonna be for the uh, cables that run through and the other one is for the power so there you go that's what we got the enclosure with some screws and the system here with some screws and also the power cable all right guys so now we are out here and what we're going to do is actually replace this old system right here this is from hunter and then we're going to replace it with the ratio three so we want to make sure that this can go in here and also, we're going to cover it with the enclosure so we can actually protect it from the elements. 
And one thing that you want to do is actually make sure you take pictures and everything of all the cables in here. Make sure you're properly putting it where the cable is going to go through. So that way you can mount it in the right place right here. After you've done that, then you're able to install it. So let's get on with the installation right now. All right, guys. So what you want to do here now is actually remove the cover. Take a picture of all your cables, the ones that you need, the ones you don't think you don't need. For me, this white one is for the uh, sensor at the top. So I don't need that because the sensor uh, is um, smart and it knows when it's raining and not. This other yellow cable is actually not plugged in. So I'm not gonna plug it into the other uh, controller. These two are power basically. And then, like I said, this is the sensor and this is your other wire. Your white one's gonna be your common and then zone one, two, three, and four. Right now I have zone one, two, and three. So I don't even have a zone four installed right here. So pretty much take a picture of it. Make sure that when you plug in the other one, it's exactly the same way. But before you do that, you wanna make sure that you turn off the power from the breaker. That way you don't wanna get shock or anything like that. So once you remove power, then start the installation here of this sprinkler system or removal of this sprinkler system. So let's go.
All right, so now that we actually install the enclosure box right here and we move the cables through here, what we wanna do is actually start pairing and plugging the cables together, green with green, white with white, and then putting the other ones right here for the controller. So we can put the controller back in here. But like I said, put the screws, make sure it's firm, make sure everything's tied in together through here, make sure the breaker is still off, and then continue uh, plugging the cables right here so we can put the adapter back here. And then it's gonna be simple, just the controller. And that's it, let's continue guys. All right guys, so as you guys can see right here, we mount everything back up. We put the power, I put some caulking in the back to cover the hole for this. We attach the cable, we plug it in. Now what we do is actually put the system now. We put the first one's gonna be the white one, that common, it's gonna be for the white one. And then we're gonna put uh, one, two, and three, red, blue, and green, to one, two, and three right here. So it's gonna be very simple. So let's get started with that. So 
we're going to go to red, blue, green. So we go one, we push it, and we tuck it in there, and then we close it, and it automatically attached to it. Green, actually blue. Let's see here. And I'll pull it up, pinch it in, and zone three. I only got three zones. That's why we're getting three zones right here. So push it in. There you go. And let it go down. Make sure that they're tight. You can pull them, tug them a little bit, make sure they don't fall out. And that's and then you can put the rest of the cables back in there. So super clean installation, super simple. Now let's see everything set up the way it's supposed to. All right, now that we have everything set up, what we're gonna do is turn the breaker on and see if everything works. If not, we can come back and recheck our warning and see what we did. So with that said, let's turn on the breaker and see what we got. All right, so looks like we got some power, there's something going on. That's good. We got the flashing white light. And I've heard, and I also look at the instruction, it says as you're pairing it up, the light will continue moving forward. So now it's into orange with the blue one here. And orange, and it's gonna keep on going. I guess next thing we're gonna do is check the app. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you here the step-by-step -step on how to like download the app and how to set it up. So first you want to do is download the uh, Ratio app from the App Store. Once you open it, you want to allow it to receive notifications. And once you're inside, now you'll be able to enter your information right here. There, what you're going to do is actually, once it's created, you're going to start adding your Ratio controller system to your Wi-Fi network. In order to do that, you're going to have to type in your address. And this is what it's going to do. It's going to look for your uh, ratio. And then you're going to scan the barcode located on the ratio controller system. Once you do that, then with the location that you provided and the Wi-Fi, it's going to find out your location and it will know when it will be raining and when it will be not. This is uh, a system that is called the uh, Weather Intelligent Plus. So it knows whether to turn on or off your sprinkler system depending on the area, if it's raining or not. Once you get it set up, then you want to set up all your zonings. That way you can actually use it to turn on and off. And now you're ready to use your sprinkler system with the Ratio app. Now to install this using Apple HomeKit, it's very simple. You're going to add an accessory. You're going to see it right there in the system. And once you see it show up, pair it with the pairing code. And then what you want to do is actually configure, turn it on, make sure that it works trying each of the zones each of the zones you can actually put it for five minutes ten minutes or even more and you can also configure this on the app on here all you're going to do is kind of like turn them on turn them off and see when they're running you don't have a lot of other type of controls within the home kit app all the controls are going to happen from the ratio app and that's pretty much how you can see it on home kit so now that we installed the Ratio 3 here with the outdoor enclosure, plug it in, we paddle the cables, and we tested out all the uh, zones, and they're working great. The next thing to do is actually the final job is actually put the cover back in. It has magnets. What you want to do, just kind of get it the other way right here like this. There you go. And it's just magnets. Now you have a cover. You have the blue line right here showing that it's connected and like i said before the buttons right here the top one is stop to stop watering the bottom one is to start watering or pause the watering and the arrows are to go to different zoning so whether you want to go to zone you know, one two or three that's pretty much it all you got to do is close it and then start watering you know your lawn finally when you're done let's close it lock it there you can even lock it over here if you want to lock it with a uh, lock or not, or just keep it like that. So it'll be easier to open it whenever you want to open it. So that's it. That's the installation of the Ratio 3 uh, Smart Sprinkler System.